Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. And we are going to do our weekly reading for May 26th until June 1st. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that, yes, I am available for, for personal readings and or Reiki sessions. And I don't want you to be confused when you go in the description box and you click on the link to my booking site. It says Lotus Spirit Tarot. That is the name of my original channel, which is still up and running, um, where I do all the zodiac signs. And it's the name of my business. So I don't want you to think it's not me. It is. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have from the divine today. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for the week of May 26th through June 1st? May 26th through June 1st. What is the overall energy, please? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. <clears throat> Ooh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay. So we have here fertility. This is very, very good. This is um, being able to create, okay? That's what that is. And it says here, like all take root, seed and sprout, let new life be all about. So you are really transforming, Taurus. I mean, we all are. All of us Taurus are transforming. We're changing the way we look, the way we feel. We're planting new seeds of what we desire, okay? What you thought you might have wanted, even a week ago compared to today might be completely different. You're kind of shooting for the stars is what I've heard, what I just heard. So now is the time where you're literally shifting your energy and your focus. It is on you. It can be your outward appearance. It can be your health. It can be your wealth, right? How you're bringing in money. It's just a, it's a paradigm shift. I mean, really. And what I really love here is the bottom of the deck. We have magical powers. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic secrets to me now show. So now you really know how to do this. And I love that it's kind of like the Phoenix rising here, right? So really putting the past in the past, really learning from that and molding yourself from that into not just the best version of you, but the best version of your life. Okay, now is the time, right? Now is the time. So that is beautiful. And we have the 10 here, the 37, 10, end of a cycle, ending a lot of things, changing a lot of things about yourself, letting your authentic self shine, um, which is beautiful. And you're doing it with love because we have the 24 here, which is a six in numerology, right? And that is love, putting love into self and going on a new path here. Show us clearly, please. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message here? What is the message for Taurus for the week of May 26th till June 1st? Show us clearly. What is the message here? What is the message? One more shuffle. One more shuffle. What is the message, please? Show us clearly. What is the message? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show us clearly, please. Yep. Putting you first. This is my favorite night in all the decks. And I have a million decks, okay? In all my tarot decks, this is my favorite night of wands. Because she is walking to the beat of her own drum. That horse represents the freedom and strength to be who you are right? She's having a good time. Doesn't matter what's going out, on outside. She's in her own world having the best time. And the cool thing about this Knight of Wands is actually has the Four of Wands behind it. And the Four of Wands is that security, the stability that we want, the passion in our life. And it's also the portal card, right? It's the 1111 card. So stepping into this new version of you. Beautiful. And not just you, but your life, you know? So I love this. Show us clearly, please. What is the message? Show us clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. 
Masters. What is the message? What does Taurus need to know? I mean, you truly are the Phoenix Rising. Truly are. And you know what, Taurus? I can guarantee you it wouldn't be the first time. Only this time you've mastered it. Thank you. Yeah. I love the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this is movement towards your authentic self here. So these two knights are all about you taking action. And if you notice in this particular deck, again, that horse is not standing still, like in the normal tarot, right? So you're moving forward. You're moving on. Look at the bare feet in the grass, enjoying life, getting grounded, going towards your riches, right? You are the Phoenix Rising, leaving the past in the past. I'm, I'm healed from that. I don't need to be in that energy. I've learned the lessons. <clears throat> Very nice. Show us clearly, please. Walking with like-minded people. I love it. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Thank you. Yeah. No one can touch you. Seven of Wands. No one can touch you or your peace. Your sense of peace, your sense of stability, right? You've got your bubble of light around you. You're in your confidence with that solar plexus chakra lit up, right? It's like, you can't, it doesn't matter what you do or say, right? It's kind of that whole, <laughs> it's it's that whole saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me, right? Like there's nothing you can say or do. You can't push my buttons. I am at a place of calmness. I know everything works out for me and planting new seeds for my life and knowing that they will come to fruition. It's just beautiful, Taurus. Show me clearly what a beautiful week it's gonna be. Show me clearly, what is the message? What is the message for Taurus, please? That's too many, but the strength card is popping its head out here. So again, being fearless, show me clearly. All right, <clears throat> yep. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Nobody can touch you. I'm telling you. You know who you are. You know what you are. It doesn't matter what anybody says to you. you you're you just at peace, right? You are at peace. And again, with this hermit card kind of going back and, and like I said, maybe changing these goals, this direction, where I want to go, what I want to do. If I think just back to less than a year ago, my goals were completely different than what they are today, okay? They're completely different. What I thought I wanted, I realized I didn't want it. I didn't want those things, so why was I striving for them, right? Um, so I think that you really go within because you're deciding what your wish fulfillment will be. What is my wish fulfillment going to be? And again, I love these this wands energy that we have with the knight of wands and the seven of wands and now the queen of wands because look at how happy and peaceful and look i can create i can create magic right out of the palm of my hand and again this makes you so attractive to others in um you know if you're applying for a new career or job right they want to give you the job this is people coming to you because of your magnetism and it doesn't matter if you're male or female the queen is just that energy of I can't stop looking at Taurus right I can't stop talking about Taurus now I will tell you with that be very uh be very how do you want me to put that be very discerning of who you spend your time with because when you shine that bright yes you get others that shine bright with you right but you also attract the people that want to take you down. <laughs> they, you know, <clears throat> sadly, people are jealous of others' success. So be discerning with whom you spend your time with. Show me clearly. What is the message? But look at all the happy faces here. Everybody's just like, yeah, I'm having my own good time. Love it. Thank you. Yeah, I knew the magician was going to show up. I knew it. There we go. Magician at the bottom of the deck, really using your powers and your resources to let that authentic part of you out. Again, you can be changing physically, mentally, your belief system. You can be changing all of that. And look at king and queen of wands attracting in true soulmate energy, 
divine counterparts. Yes, this could be romantic. It could be love. Doesn't have to be. Soulmates come in many, many forms. It comes in friendships. It comes in um, your work. The work you do can be your soulmate work, right? It can be an animal. It can be a home, right? So it's going to be different for all of you because it's a general reading, but lo loving this, loving this. Take charge. I'm going for it. This is the true me. And just starting anew, just starting all, all like... What is that saying? I wish I, you know, when we get to people um, that, you know, hit their 90s, let's say, and they're like, well, not even just that. I mean, a lot of us say that in our 50s or in our 30s, right? Like, I wish I knew what I knew now back when I was young, right? I wish I had this knowledge when I was young. But it's like you are, you are, no matter what your age, you are young and you are going to start a new life here I think it's amazing show me clearly like this is just the beginning right this is just the beginning of a fantabulous great life yeah look at that such Taurus energy I seek balance and grounding very good week for you to get out in nature right it is proven science that when we get our bare feet on the ground, right, it releases some toxins in our physical body, in our mental body. I always say if you can't do that for whatever circumstances, put your hands on a tree, a plant, anything that is earthly, right? Let's get one more here. I feel like they want one more here. Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus for the week? Thank you. All right, Taurus. I accept, see, you cannot make it up. <laughs> you can't make it up. I accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. Look at that. You cannot make it up. All right, Taurus. With that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.